got four here. I'm guessing they're sort of three, four foot long, something like that. These are just half the length of the one that ate Matt's thumb, but the giant moray eel can grow to 12 feet long. So, this is a moray eel, and just looking at those teeth and jaws, they are pretty ferocious. I want to have a closer look at those. I'm going to put it down for a moment. The front ones are very long. They're slightly curved, and the thing about them is they're, they're pointing back, so if you actually pull, all you're going to do is make those points penetrate even deeper. The thing is, what happens then? Um, the moray eel is actually unique in this respect, in, in terms of how it transfers its prey from the point of the jaws back into the throat. It's actually got this secondary set of jaws in the back of the throat. It's almost like alien. They will come forward, grab hold of the prey, pull it back into the throat. Morays have few natural predators, are known cannibals, and are not afraid to take on prey equal to their own size. Their science fiction designed jaws give them the ability to swallow their quarry whole, much like the sea serpent reports I've read. But I can't see how even the biggest mores could swallow a person. And the fact that these ambush predators hide away in cracks and crevices on the ocean floor doesn't fit with ancient tales of sea serpents attacking boats at the surface. <laughs>